Samsung's upcoming One UI 7.0 update is shaping up to be one of the biggest software upgrades we've ever seen for Galaxy devices. This massive update is making waves not only for its features, but also because, for the first time since the introduction of One UI back in 2018, Samsung will release it in the same year as the new Android version it's based on. Yes, you heard that right. One UI 7.0 will arrive in 2024 alongside the Galaxy S25 series. Now, while the public beta testing for One UI 7.0 is expected to begin later this year, we're already getting glimpses of what's in store. And from what we've seen, Samsung's been working at lightning speed to refine the software. So much so that elements showcased in our recent One UI 7.0 hands-on video from the Samsung Developer Conference are already outdated. But today we're focusing on one particular change that's causing a stir, the redesigned icon for Samsung's stock gallery app. As many Galaxy users know, the gallery app is a staple used to store and manage photos and videos. It's a familiar tool for most of us, but Samsung has decided that it's time to give its icon a facelift. And while almost all stock apps in One UI 7.0 are getting refreshed icons, the gallery app icon is one of the first we've gotten a clear look at. Now, if you saw the initial design, you might remember that it was a little too colorful. Some fans thought it felt a bit childish, especially when compared to the clean, minimalist aesthetic that Samsung has been known for in recent years. Thankfully, Samsung seems to have taken that feedback seriously. The latest version of the gallery app icon, shown in a short video that surfaced recently, is a lot more subdued. The colors are less flashy, and the overall design feels much more polished and mature. It's a change that, at first glance, just feels right. Of course, we can't say for sure if this will be the final design. Samsung could still tweak it further before the official release of One UI 7.0, but if this toned down version sticks, we're confident most users will appreciate it. It's the kind of change that may not wow everyone, but it's hard to see anyone strongly disliking it either. This redesigned gallery icon is just a small glimpse of the larger design changes we expect to see across One UI 7.0. Almost all stock apps will be getting new icons, and while some might take a bit of getting used to, it's revealed in the coming months. One UI 7.0 is shaping up to be a significant update, not just in terms of features, but also in terms of design. Samsung is clearly listening to feedback from its users and making adjustments where needed. The new gallery app icon is just one example of this, and if it's anything to go by, the rest of the icons are likely to follow suit with a more mature, refined look. So if you're as excited as we are for One UI 7.0, keep an eye out for more updates. And don't forget, the stable version of One UI 7.0 will launch with the Galaxy S25 series, so we're just a few months away from seeing the full picture. Let us know in the comments what you think of the new icon design. Do you prefer the more toned down look, or did you like the colorful original version? We'd love to hear your thoughts. Now let's dive into the exciting showdown between two of the biggest heavyweights in the smartphone world. Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max and Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra. Both of these phones push the boundaries of mobile technology, offering cutting-edge features and exceptional performance. But which one takes the crown as the best big phone of 2024? Let's dive in and compare them side by side. Design. Starting with the design, both phones have distinct looks that reflect their brand identities. The iPhone 16 Pro Max stays true to Apple's iconic rectangular shape with flat sides and soft corners. This year, it features an even slimmer bezel, allowing for a larger 6.9-inch display. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra, on the other hand, keeps its sleek, curved edges and integrates the ever-popular S Pen, a feature unique to Samsung's Ultra series. Size-wise, the differences are minimal. The iPhone 16 Pro Max measures 163mm x 77.6mm, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra is slightly shorter but a bit wider at 162.3 millimeters x 79 millimeters. That extra width allows room for the S Pen, which gives Samsung an edge in productivity. Apple, however, introduces something new this year, the camera control button, a capacitive touch key that allows for zooming and other camera controls with a swipe. When it comes to color options, Apple sticks with its sophisticated muted tones, white, black, natural, and the new desert titanium. Samsung goes for more variety with options like titanium violet and yellow. And for those ordering through Samsung's website, you get access to exclusive colors like titanium blue and green. Display, now onto the display. Both phones deliver top tier screen technology. The iPhone 16 Pro Max boasts a 6.9 inch LED display with a buttery smooth 120 Hertz refresh rate. 
As with the iPhone 15 Pro series, you also get the always-on display feature, which lowers the refresh rate to just 1 hertz when the phone is idle. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra isn't far behind with its stunning 6.8-inch AMOLED display that also supports 120 hertz refresh rates and an always-on feature. One advantage Samsung brings is an anti-reflective coating, making outdoor visibility much easier in bright sunlight, something the iPhone lacks. Both displays are breathtakingly vibrant, but there are subtle differences in color. The iPhone 16 Pro Max tends to lean towards warmer yellowish tones, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra has a cooler, more tealish hue. A standout feature for the iPhone 16 Pro Max is its ability to drop its brightness to just one nit for easier nighttime viewing, great for late night scrolling. Performance, now let's talk about what's under the hood. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is powered by Apple's latest A18 Pro chip, built on a second generation three nanometer process. This makes it incredibly efficient with significant improvements in heat dissipation and sustained performance compared to its predecessor, the A17 Pro chip. Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra is no slouch either. It runs on the Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip, custom tuned for Galaxy devices. While the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 performs well, especially in gaming and graphics intensive tasks, it tends to throttle a bit sooner than Apple's A18 Pro under extreme stress. In benchmark tests, the iPhone 16 Pro Max leads in CPU performance, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra takes the edge in 3D graphics, scoring slightly higher in peak performance. However, Apple's new chip excels in long-term sustained performance, so if you're planning on pushing your phone to its limits, the iPhone may have a slight edge. Camera next, let's discuss one of the most critical aspects of any flagship phone, the cameras. The iPhone 16 Pro Max features a 48 megapixel main sensor paired with a new 48 megapixel ultra wide sensor and a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with 5x optical zoom. Apple has also introduced a new lens coating to minimize lens flare, addressing a common complaint in previous models. On the flip side, Samsung's Galaxy S24 Ultra brings its camera game with a 200 megapixel main camera, a 50 megapixel zoom lens, a 10 megapixel telephoto camera with 3x zoom, and a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. Samsung has packed in more megapixels, but remember, megapixels aren't everything. The iPhone tends to produce more natural looking photos, whereas the Galaxy S24 Ultra sometimes leans into oversaturation, delivering more vibrant images. In low light photography, both phones perform exceptionally well, but Samsung's larger sensor can capture more detail in some scenarios. For video, the iPhone takes the crown with its 4K recording at 120 frames per second, ideal for capturing stunning slow motion footage. While Samsung's camera app offers tons of customization, Apple's new camera control button provides a more intuitive experience for videographers. Battery life and charging. In terms of battery life, the iPhone 16 Pro Max packs a 4,685 mAh battery, while the Galaxy S24 Ultra edges it out with a 5,000 mAh battery. Both phones are more than capable of lasting through a day of heavy use, but Samsung's slightly larger battery may give it a slight advantage. When it comes to charging, Samsung takes the lead. The Galaxy S24 Ultra supports 45 watt wired charging compared to the iPhone's 20 watt charging speed. Samsung also has reverse wireless charging, which allows you to charge other devices like earbuds on the back of your phone, something Apple's iPhone 16 Pro Max doesn't offer. Software. Lastly, let's compare software. Both iOS and One UI are polished, mature operating systems, but they offer different user experiences. The iPhone 16 Pro Max is a fantastic choice. But if you're looking for more customization options, better charging speeds, and love the idea of an S Pen, the Galaxy S24 Ultra might be the perfect phone for you. Ultimately, both of these phones are top-tier devices with a ton to offer. Whichever one you choose, you're getting a powerful, feature-packed smartphone that will keep you ahead of the curve in 2024.